I'm asked often for an eyeliner tutorial, and while I don't like to use a lot of eyeliner, I do like to be very strategic about it. I mean, after all, not getting any younger, and those wrinkles are getting a little bit more pronounced, my eyes are getting a little bit more hooded, and I want a more awake, younger look. So today I'm gonna share with you my tips and my tricks for using everyday eyeliner. Hi, I'm Dawn with Just Doing My Best. I'm so glad you're here today. If you're here for the first time, I hope that you like this video, and if you do, definitely subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'm here every week with a brand new video for women over 40 and women over 50 who just wanna look and feel their very best where they are right now. Today I'm gonna to use a pencil to do a really easy eyeliner tutorial. And it's gonna be for those of us who are a little bit older and our eyes are turning down a little bit. So we need a little bit more help just to draw that eye back up. And I know that a lot of people have a preference between pencil eyeliner and liquid eyeliner. I find that liquid eyeliner, for me, takes a lot of practice and a lot of precision and a steady hand. Um, I don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> and as I get older, my eyesight's not what it used to be. My hand is not as steady as it used to be. So for that reason, I like something like the pencil that's a little bit more forgiving. When I use the pencil, I can kind of maneuver it a little bit where I don't always have that luxury, that ability to do that with a liquid eyeliner. Now, today I'm gonna to use an eyeliner that is a pencil and it's a mechanical pencil. I really prefer mechanical pencils to eyeliners that you have to sharpen for a couple of reasons. First, I find that most eyeliners that you have to sharpen um, tend to be drier. So they really tug, you're dragging them along your eye line. And this is a very delicate area already. We're already seeing um, the skin is loosening up, so it's kind of dragging down a little bit. We're getting more wrinkles there. That's a really delicate area, and I don't wanna be pulling on that any more than I have to. So I find that to be a problem with most of the uh, pencils that I have found that need to be sharpened. The other issue is when you have to sharpen them, that's just one more step. You're sharpening, you're sharpening. It seems that you're losing a lot of product that way also. So for that reason, I really like a mechanical eyeliner pencil, and I'm gonna link the ones that I really like in the description below. If you can't get your hands on the ones that I love, that's okay. Try to find a mechanical pencil that you love and that just really glides over that area just to make it so much easier for you to use. Now, when I put my eyeliner on, I'm not gonna put a lot on the bottom. The reason I don't do that is because our face is naturally kind of sinking down just a little bit anyway, and so I don't wanna put a lot at the bottom. That really kind of closes the eye, I think, when you put it on the bottom, and really our objective is to kind of draw everything up. And also, the more makeup we put on the bottom, the more opportunity for that just to kind of flake and just kind of run down a little bit, making it appear that the the circles underneath our eyes, or at least underneath mine, <laughs> are a little darker than what we already have. And so I try to keep that underneath the eye to a minimum. So right now, I just have a little bit of shadow underneath there, very, very little, and I'm gonna put just a little bit of mascara. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna to try to move up a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw a line here, just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is, I just wanna show you, just kind of illustrate, that you see where your lash line and the bottom is going down. What you wanna do is you wanna make this eyeliner an extension of that. So if you're wondering, okay, where do I start this line? Like, how should that go? You know, do I go here, do I go here? Where do you want it to go? 
you want it to be an extension of this lash line. So let me start to draw that and you'll see what I mean. So you can see I didn't go very far up, but you can almost draw a line from here all the way down. I'm not going to line this down here, but that's where I want that to be. Our natural tendency is to want to go right along the top lash line, but what's gonna happen when we do that is we have to imagine that it's gonna look different when we're putting our makeup on then when we get done and we sit up now everything is going to go down so that's why i don't want to use this lash line as a guide i want to use this lash line as a guide so that's why it's up like that instead of using this lash line which would mean that it's going to be pointing down. Now when I line this, I'm gonna take this and I'm almost gonna make a triangle and I'm only gonna go about a, th about a third to a half way to the middle of my lash line right there. That's all the further I'm gonna go. Just for me personally, I don't normally take it all the way in, although if you can see, I do have a little bit of a shadow line where I put a little bit of shadow almost all the way in. I just don't want too much. This is just the way that I do it. You can obviously find what works for you and what you're the most comfortable with. So let me show you how I do it. I also did want to say that I tend not to wear black eyeliner. I find it to be very harsh. Again, you absolutely need to find what works for you. I just find that for me, black eyeliner tends to be very harsh. It really stands out. It really kind of jumps out at you. And as we're getting older and we're losing the color in our face, our face isn't as plump as it used to be and things are dragging down, I don't want anything that's too bright. I don't want anything that's super dark. I don't want anything that's going to be too harsh for me. So the darkest I usually go is a very dark brown for an eyeliner. Now that I have this on there, I'm just gonna blend it just a little bit because again, I don't want it to be super harsh. So I've kind of blended it in with the shadow that I already have. I kind of like them to be this about the same color or in the same color family so that one just becomes an extension of the other. So you've got the eyeliner there and it's just kind of blending and becoming one with the shadow that I put there. And now that eye is done. I won't do the liner on the bottom for me, but I do have a little bit of that shadow. So it's not a stark contrast. It doesn't look like, oh gosh, why didn't she do the bottom? Once I have the mascara on, it really is just a little bit of a compliment down there to have the shadow and then just the shadow and the eyeliner on the top. So I don't have that blended in yet, but I did want to say that you're just going to raise that pencil up a little bit. And I've almost kind of mastered the art of I'm using the side 
of that pencil versus writing straight on. I'm just using the side of that pencil so you're getting a fine line every, t every single time versus like you're coloring and you're using that flat side. I'm just gonna use the side of it every single time and you get that sharper line every single time. So I'm just kind of resting the side of that pencil on my eye when I go to make my strokes. Now, I have the mascara on the top on both sides, but I wanted to take a minute and tell you about putting mascara on the bottom. Now, on the bottom, like I said, I just put a little bit of shadow at the bottom, and now I'm gonna put mascara. So the trick to putting mascara on the bottom is, for me, I don't like to do the entire lash from root to tip on the bottom because I don't want that kind of spidery look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna concentrate most of my mascara right at the root of the lash to about the middle. So by focusing my attention with the mascara to closer to the lash line, it kind of gives the illusion that I put a little liner at the bottom when you and I both know that I didn't. So again, I've just got a little bit of shadow, shadow at the top, and then I took that liner and I traced the bottom lash line up, okay? So the bottom lash line up instead of the top lash line down, which is what our tendency is. So I just by putting that mascara closer to the lash line, it kind of gives the illusion that you've got a little bit more eyeliner on when you really don't. My idea is for me personally, as I'm getting older, those laugh lines and those crow's feet are getting a little bit more pronounced. My eyes are getting a little bit more hooded and they're kind of drooping down. I want to give the illusion of my eyes being open and my eyes being lifted. So just a couple of those tips and tricks to give us that younger, more wide-eyed look. I want to help us look a little bit younger, use fewer products. So I really hope that you enjoyed that easy eyeliner tutorial. That's the way I do it every time I use eyeliner. And again, I just really like that gel eyeliner versus a liquid or a pencil. And I will leave my favorite liners in the description of this video so that you can find them. I hope all that was helpful. If it was, please leave me a comment and let me know. Definitely subscribe and give this a thumbs up. Come over to Facebook and Instagram at Just Doing My Best and find me and say hi. For now, I hope you go out today and you're blessed and you do your best. Mm -hmm.